This video is sponsored by Card Kingdom. If you click on the link in the description below, it'll take you to their store and they'll know I sent you there. All right, before we jump into another Theros Beyond Death draft, I want to remind everyone that my content is sponsored by Card Kingdom. You can click on their link in the description below on YouTube or the logo on Twitch, and it'll take you to their store. And uh, if you do that, uh, they will know I sent you there, so check them out. Nyx Lotus. I haven't even like seen that card. That's not especially good, so it's not too surprising. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I guess that makes it surprising that you know in some ways. So I think it's either Illyrios or Fateful End. They're the two best cards in this pack. Um, I tend to favor removal a little more most of the time in my life. Uh, and as good as Illyrios is, I think, yeah, we're going to go with removal. Okay, so here I'm inclined to take the Chimera. The Oracle's fine on its own, uh, even, but I think the Chimera has more upside. Yeah. Let's see if we can be blue-red. Well, Threnody Singer is what I want to take here, so I think it's pushing us in that direction. Um, Daybreak Chimera is pretty nice. Furious Rise of her blue-red isn't going to be that good. Ichthyomorphosis is a fine removal spell. Stampede Rider, probably not going to be great either. Uh, Starlet Mantle does trigger things like Mischievous Chimera, but I'll take the Ichthyomorphosis here. Okay, so... Nothing to pull me out of what we're doing so far. I think we just take a Wave Rider. Alright, so I think we take a Nyad. It gives us another payoff, like Mischievous Chimera. And then there's this pack. Um, I mean, the Brute's not the worst thing ever. It's not great. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, there's this pack has some useful cards in other colors, but nothing that impressive. All right, so another Nyad or a Riptide Turtle. In some ways, I think it's harder to find the payoffs than it is cards with Flash or that are instants in this format. So I'm going to grab another Nyad. And another Wave Rider. Um, I think I like Deny the Divine a little better. Especially because we have a few cards that decrease its cost. Alright, so probably the Mantle. Okay, well... Atris is really good, and I think it pulls me towards at least Splashing Black. And it may just mean we're blue-black, period. Um, you know, it's always, almost always a two for one. So, yeah. Well. Hmm. So another, we have another payoff for playing things on their turn. That's a less exciting one. Metamized Prophecy is pretty nice. Yeah, I'll take the Prophecy here. I think here we'll take Omen of the Sea. Man. We could basically be Mono Blue. We'll take another one. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows where we'll go? Another Nyad. Voracious Typhon is pretty good. And so is Timoret. So is Vexing Gull. Alter could help us splash Atris. Let's go with the goal. Final flare, huh? Um It can allow you to sacrifice enchantments, and I think that makes it kind of intriguing for us here. 
let's take it and see. Um, okay, so I don't hate this guy, the five mana sack of dude guy. Um, Neither Divine's fine. Thrill of Possibility, you know, loads our graveyard and triggers our Chimera and is reduced in cost by our Nyad. Um, so... We could also take Devourer of Memory. Because Blue-Black still looks... Pretty intriguing. I think I'm going to take the Devourer. I think here we'll take a Witness. Another Nyad or a Shoal Kraken. Kraken already has a few things to help us loot. Yeah, we'll take him. Okay, well, there's an Arena Trickster that came back. Our deck does have a decent number of instants. I think we'll take it. Um, here, I think we'll take an Elite Instructor. Take an Altar here. Ooh. <laughs> Man, we got, like, the really, really good payoff for being uh, in the instant speed blue-red deck. The rare. Caliphate's really good, too. Um, we could even be blue-black and run the Hippocamp, incidentally. We have two instants in red, so... Yeah, I think we take the Hippocamp. It's fun. I haven't gotten to play with it yet. Aroas' Blessing's good, too, but... Let's try out this Hippocamp. Um, okay, so probably Threnody Singer. Yeah. Got a couple of those now. And another Devourer of Memory, huh? Yep, I think that basically locks me into blue-black. Heroes of the Rebel is nice. But the Devourers are real nice. Um, okay, so let's say this is what we're doing for now. Nope, I'm not going to do any M19. I drafted it enough, like you know, a year and a half ago or whatever when it was new. <laughs> so this pack actually doesn't have much good in uh, our colors. We could consider trying to splash our insight, the insight here. Sage of Mysteries. You know, if you have two uh, Devourers of Memory, it does get kind of intriguing. Um... The red cards here are better. I'll probably take an Oracle on the off chance we end up back in red. Okay, so... There's another Oracle. Uh, Minion's Return isn't terrible. Grim Physician and Aspect aren't either. This is another card with Flash. It is so situational, though, that it bothers me. Um, but I think we will take it. Nope, no M19 today, X-Factor. I generally only play the newest set. That's kind of the way I, I do things. Playing an old set like that one doesn't appeal to me a whole lot. And it's not a great limited format anyway, frankly. <laughs> it's fine, but... Dominaria is the only one that has me occasionally uh, jump on board. So, would we rather have Illyrios or Ichthyomorphosis? We're not doing great on removal. We have another Ichthyomorphosis, and that's about it. Illyrios is definitely the better card. But I think we do need the Ichthyomorphosis. All right, here we'll take a Witness. Sweet Oblivion. Sure. Oh, I don't hate that Caliphate came back. All right, probably a Mantle here.
This will take a memory drain. We're not really... I mean, we have the Hippocamp, but we're not all about... Um, instant speed stuff anymore. I mean, I'm still, I'm still about it because of our Hippocamp. Uh, so how many things with flash or that are instance do we have? Just in two drops, we have six. Then we have seven, eight, nine. We have nine, and that's plenty. Um, I mean, we can kind of look at our red cards, but... I don't imagine them. I mean, the thing about our Devourer is I don't think we have any self-mill. We have, we have looting. Um, but we don't have much in the way of self-mill, and I think that does mean they're not going to be as good. Obviously, they can, um, do it themselves. Uh, but yeah. So how many enchantments do we have for Wave Riders? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, okay, more than enough. Yeah, that Fastest Oracle would have been really good. <laughs> And the Nyx Lotus might have been too. Still seems kind of like overkill. Especially because we don't have... I mean, I guess this is a Mana Sink and this is a Mana Sink. But, yeah. I think we have enough things that are instants that we want to hold on to the Naiads. We have enough enchantments that we want to hold on to the Wave Riders. Maybe it's just Elite Instructor that we don't want. Probably don't want it. We're not really a Graveyard deck. And maybe Minion's Return gets axed too does make our mana better and it's not amazing so yeah can we get away with 16 lands in this deck we probably can so we need to cut one more card if that's the case is it one of our witnesses probably not might be starlet mantle it is fairly situational yeah, let's cut it. All right. And then we definitely don't need seven swamps. Um, well, maybe we do. It's not like we have any fixing to speak of other than we do have an altar, but I'm not sure I want to run it. Um, we do have a demigod that can gain life off of. It's probably better to just run six swamps. Ugh. Is six even enough? This Devour of Memory being a two-drop is making making our mana a little more challenging. Granted, it's good all game, so I don't think it's the end of the world. And we do have Scry and Card Draw. Yeah, so I think 11-5 is good. Yeah. All right. See how this one does. See if we can avoid a third consecutive one and three to close out this format. <laughs> uh, all right. We're draft I'm I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow too, so we have tomorrow to uh Yeah. Try to salvage if today goes bad. keep this this format started incredibly unlucky for me i was like 16 and 29 or something so maybe we'll close it out similarly gonna attack and then leave up mana for either our omen or deny the divine whichever makes more sense yeah it's gonna be deny the divine <laughs> 
right, so I think we play our Wave Rider. Since it'll gain flying off of these. Two, three, four, five mana. Good morning, Merfolk. probably gonna wait I'm probably gonna wait to cast the omen until our turn just because the damage from our wave rider is really what is getting us there right now <laughs> okay oh hello Atris Okay. Time for the silly mind games of Atris. Too bad I didn't have my Devourer of Memory in play. I think this is literally the only card that puts cards from our graveyard into our library. Um, man, it's tricky. Uh, the Hippocamp seems best, given the situation. Yeah. Ichthyomorphosis in an island wouldn't have been as good. That's for sure. This guy is riding the hippocamp, isn't it? Seems like it. All right, so they're going to exile my devourer to gain one life here. So let's play our hippocamp. Give flying to our wave rider. And we'll hold on to the cards in our hand. Uh, doing the menace thing here doesn't seem worth it to me. They can exile stuff from their own graveyard, but they only gain life for creatures, so... Right, so we're going to cast Vexing Gull at the end of their turn and draw a card off of it. That's a big boy. Not big enough, though. Yeah. All right, we won our first game in our last draft, so we shouldn't get too excited about it. <laughs> but that did go fairly well. Yeah, that was probably bad sorting on their part. Um, I probably, like, if they put Ichthyomorphosis and Island face up and one card face down, I probably would have taken the other pile, so. It is a funny kind of mind game. So, I kind of think we need to mulligan here. 
we're on the on the play, so yeah. Okay, this is better. Um, I mean, there's a reasonable chance we find a swamp quickly enough that I think I want to hold on to it. I think we'll lose the mantle in this hand. Huh. <laughs> well. I don't think I want both of these. Yeah, we'll take the prophecy. Well, Atris, I hate to do this to you, but I think I have to. So, what do I do? Name Deny the Divine? <laughs> It's kind of tempting, because it probably means they won't cast anything. Whereas with Ichthyomorphosis... Never mind, I have to wait a turn. So I guess we do name Ichthyomorphosis. Yeah, they're just going to play around Ichthyomorphosis, I'm sure. Or maybe they're not. That works for me. I think it's even better than countering at this point. I don't know why they didn't play around it. on top and they have a final death on top good to know well we're just going to put another ichthyomorphosis on this guy the island will be good because we can play our witness is it better to play our kraken right now though i think it probably is They might final death it, but yeah, they do. Well, that's not good. They don't have an enchantment right now, but okay, so I could just play my witness. Yeah, it's probably the best thing to do. It's tempting to play Hippocamp Devourer. But, you know, we'll just play our Witness. So, it's a free block, so... I mean, you know, they might have removal, but... I think I'm okay with it. Oh, unless it's a Myers. Because now they get a 2 2 zombie out of the deal, too. Things aren't looking great. Our two biggest guys just have now been eaten. The two biggest ones we've drawn, I should say. Alright, so we're going to play a Hippocamp and then Double Devourer, I guess.
So our devourers can represent some pretty fast lethal here, potentially. Yeah. That's a problem. Um... Would I rather hold on to the Devourers who can swing for eight a turn together? I think maybe I would. I think they give us an outside chance instead of no chance. Although drawing cards is nice, I guess. Yeah, let's, we'll block with the Devourer. And take seven. Are they going to make a wolf token right away? Okay. Yeah, we're in trouble. Why does Ephemia have to be so good? All right, so... You'll block that, and you guys are just gonna have to die for the cause. I think, yeah. Okay, Witness of Tomorrow will be helpful. No attacks. At least it's only a 2-2. Two -two. This spawn is such a problem. <laughs> As it tends to be. Just have to hang back. We have fewer cards in our library right now, in addition to having way less life. <laughs> nice someday I think I don't think that day is now but <laughs> someday draw some extra cards opponent come on at some point I can start attacking with my wave rider I'm not sure that point is now Did I forget to scry I forgot to scry we need to be scrying. I think our out... I mean, I think we have ways we can get there, but yeah, it's going to be a challenge. Go 
because of all the life they're gaining, especially. Okay. I think we take it. And then we'll end our turn. I think our out is just getting several flyers in play, basically. Well, <laughs> I think we're okay with that, too. All right, so... We can at least stop them from continuing to gain life by attacking here. <laughs> they won't be netting life every turn, so that'll be helpful. Well, that's not fun. Non-creature, non-land card. Okay. It's pretty good here. Soon they're going to know about our Threnody Singer, but I don't think it matters a whole lot. Yeah. It actually does matter, but they can't get rid of either of them, right? Because it's non... Yeah. That's not good. I think we'd rather, well, Serenity Singers for only one mana is a pretty good deal. <laughs> now that we, they know we have them. Um, although, they are still pretty useful even if they know we have them. So, let's just do this. I can always wait to cast them until later. Okay, so hold on to that. Um, so that we can discard it. This game is this game is silly. The only way we'll win is if like us, our opponent forgets how many cards are in their deck at some point. But they're not even drawing like extra cards or anything, so. Now they're going to get a zombie, too. Creature doesn't hurt, especially because it can gain flying, but. Right, so. Our plan here will be to play both our Threnody Singers once they. once we get to that trigger. Yeah, so.
know, she's jacked. Man. Okay. Uh, I mean, I could attack here, but... Holding on to lands doesn't help us shrink the enemy, really, because it's just going to make us discard them. Come on, man. Mill your library or something. That's the only way we have hope here. It is pretty funny that we managed to stabilize, but it's not funny that they're still in really good shape. You're not going to help us, so... <laughs> Nor is a land, but... Yeah, we, we only have two cards left in our library that we don't know. Which is kind of funny for our uh, <laughs> actress. We'll actually know what we can get. Hey, Nate. It's going. Not having the best day... On, you know, in terms of success while we stream, but this opponent's gonna probably cause us to deck ourselves before anything else happens. Wonder what that last card is. I could save us the time here and just like let them uh, just win, just concede. But I'm really holding out hope that they'll mill themselves or something. That's really what I'm hoping for here. Oh, that's not milling, but it does get them one card closer to us. Oh, they didn't even use it. What? A, why, man? They just wanted it for the scry, not for drawing a card. They know what's going on is what that means. Unfortunately for us. Oh yeah, and they get a zombie. All right, so let's do this. This is the last card in our deck that we don't know what it is. Charlotte Mantle's next. Sure. Oh, except I probably didn't want it. Yeah. I'm probably just going to scoop after this turn because our chances of actually succeeding are pretty dismal. Get all those triggers. I wouldn't concede if they hadn't clearly known what was going on earlier. Oh yeah, well, yeah. We'll just go ahead and concede to save time. Because they know they're going to be decked. If they take any extra cards out of their deck. So they're not doing it. So I'll be right back and then we'll finish this one up. It's pretty funny that those altars were such a huge issue <laughs> when your opponent can gain life with them every time. All right, pretty good. Yeah, one thing our deck is lacking, and I think it's true of all three of our decks today, is removal. <laughs> we are not heavy on the removal. Alright, so 
The player devourer. We can play our prophecy and figure out what we want to do. Kind of like them. Probably going to name Atris. Although, I probably want to play Atris next turn, so probably not, actually, but... Uh, we do kind of need a fifth land at some point, but... We're bound to hit one with either Atris or Omen of the Sea. So we'll put one land on the bottom. And we'll attack. So we'll probably play Atris this turn and then name Nyxborn Seaguard. Riptide Turtle. Look out. Someone's going to play a Riptide Turtle. Oh, I could just name Atris now, actually. That's right. That's how this works. So, our Devourer is going to be unblockable, so that's cool. Um, they'll still draw two cards off of playing a Riptide Turtle, but... I think this pile looks better to me. Especially because we don't have a fifth land yet. Yeah, that was the right call. Wow, they missed their Riptide. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, I know why they said oops now, because I screwed it up. Why am I an idiot? <laughs> this is, I've been playing bad early on in this format, but I've been playing real bad lately. It's not the end of the world. Um, we're in pretty good shape, but I definitely shouldn't have named Atris. And that's initially what I was thinking, but then I somehow psyched myself out. I, I don't know. All right, so. Attack with our Atris. Menace. Play our Witness. I'm hoping we can kill them despite not netting the cards off of the Prophecy like a genius. Right, so... Eidolons on top of theirs. We have an island on top, huh? So... Let's try to play Calafay and see what happens. Make their removal cost more in case they have it. Cylinder turn. Will we get there? Probably about to play a dream trawler. Not a dream trawler, but. Right, so, Omen of the Sea. Attack with Atris. I go to three. Um, I think I try to resolve this Wave Rider. It's a good chance they counter it. But we'll be pretty happy if they don't. Yeah, they do. It's 
So they can play their Eidolon now just to have a blocker. <laughs> yeah. So that they can double block my Atris. Bottom that, leave the witness on top. So we have seven mana, yeah. All right, so let's try to resolve this. Looks like it happens. Even though we screwed up our Meadowmise Prophecy, Atris basically got us there between the Menace and the extra cards. So, this is our best performance so far today. I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> See if we can keep it rolling. Thank you, Blank Logo. All right, this is a keeper. I think we probably want to play Caliphate instead of leaving up Counter Magic. Hey, that looks familiar. I think we'll just go for the three, four, five curve out, basically, is our plan. What number draft is this? It's our third one of the day. I guess it's number 38 overall, according to the stats that box. <laughs> Her becoming a 4-3 in our turn would be pretty nice. Nope, I never did draft it in paper. I don't draft in paper a whole lot. So we're just going to take two here. If their plan was to pump it and that was it, maybe I regret that, but... So even if they have mana up, I'm throwing the Nyxborn Seaguard out there this turn. Um, there's no way that's not the right plan. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to curve out and then start doing other stuff with our hand. Uh, somebody earlier said I should do top 10 devotion and... I probably will at some point after this set has circulated in standard enough. Because right now it would mostly be from OG Theros. So. Alright. Well. I think I'm kind of okay with attacking here. If what they want to do is trade, I mean, I think we're okay with that. So let's attack with both of these. And if they want to like flash a gull into play, I can counter that if I really need to.
Or, you know, any of the other flash things. They can block and pump this once, but I think that's a fine trade overall. Be a gull. Ah, or that. Um, okay. Funny thing is, I can flash Omen of the Sea into play to get its uh, get it up one more power. <laughs> so if they block with the Devourer, I can still kill it if I want to. And they have to block with both to kill it, so... <laughs> okay. Let's give this a try. Doesn't mean we're not playing our witness this turn, obviously, enough. Oh, I think we want both of those. Do we want them in this order? Probably. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to counter that. Overall, I think we come out ahead there. Probably play Nyad and... Well, might just play the big flyer, I guess. All right, so... attack with the chance the fact they might have counter magic and I probably kind of really want to resolve our witness of tomorrow's I think I'm actually gonna play hippocamp and devourer here instead yeah one of them's gonna get countered I think or not Kind of forgot that card existed, too. I somehow haven't seen it very much. Yeah, Mogus' favor is pretty gross right there. <laughs> See you later, Devourer. Alright. So, I think we probably play our big creature here. You think they put their favor on their instructor and attack here? I can see it happening. So, are we willing to trade our Sea Guard? I think I probably am. Especially in a world where I have a bunch of scrying. Counter our Nyad. 
Ooh, well done, opponent. That hurt my soul a little. I never play this card, but I think I'm probably wrong in not playing it overall. Yeah, so we're going to take two here. Okay. Okay. That works for me. We need that Threnody Singer. It'd be cool if they tried to play removal on my Witness of Tomorrow's right now, especially if it was Final Death. Tap out for it. Yeah, it seems like it's useful in more situations than I ever expected it to be. have lethal this next turn if we can swing it we may have more removal for our witness looks like they do yeah they do um i guess we'll scry once All right, I think we'll take a Shoal Kraken. So their plan is gonna be to Mogus' favor, but we can get around that. Okay, well, that's not their plan. But, it still works out okay for us. All right, need to start holding on to lands. They still have so much gas because of those thirst for meanings. I wonder if they're going to go aggressive here. I feel like they are, but it seems odd somewhat. If they do. I would just take five if they attacked me. And then attack with both of these. Well, I think my flyer's gone. Maybe they'll deck themselves. They've drawn 12 more cards or seen 12 more cards than I have. Which is pretty crazy. All right, so we're just going to end our turn. Guess I might as well have played this, but...
So they've killed our two big flyers. So I'm just gonna take this five. Oh yeah, I, there's a reason I held onto it and it's Shoal Kraken. Hello, Teflum. Would I double block the Shoal Kraken? I think I probably do. The question is, how do I want to do it? My opponent's so low on life, it seems like the Wave Rider could get us there, but the 3-5 is a better blocker overall. So, yeah, we'll block like that. See if we get blown out. There's a good chance we do. Oh, yeah, I do get blown out but not in a surprising way. <laughs> Just get Mogus's favored. Hey, they are down to seven cards. <laughs> so, there's a real chance. Of course, that also means they've drawn way more cards than I have. Ooh, that is... Let's hope they don't have Counterspell. I mean, they might, given everything. Okay. We want to tap it like that. Please don't have Counter Magic. Oh, ho ho! They do not have Counter Magic. That was a good draw. Um, hmm. I'm definitely leaning Ichthyomorphosis because I can even cast it right now if I want to. Yeah. I think I made the right call there. So now, I think I attack with my Shoal Kraken. Yeah. Well, crap. We definitely kill the flyer. I think I just take three here if this attacks me. Yeah. I think that's the right call. Guess they could put Mogus's favor on it, which would not be great. Yeah. By not be great, I mean for me. Hmm. They're at four. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we're gonna block. Yeah, their draws are probably mostly lands, um, which is good.
It would be karmic if our opponent doesn't realize their deck's almost empty like we didn't realize in an earlier game. <laughs> in an earlier draft. Where we killed ourselves with our own Uro. If they draw three here, I mean, that's going to be hard for them to win. Okay. Well, this is going to feel pretty good. They can get their Mogus' favor back, but I think I'm okay with it. I can actually pressure their life total now to some extent. Never mind. Hmm. See you later, Atomic Squirrel. We're gonna take this four. want that creature. Let's hope they can't bounce my Threnody Singer or something here. Uh-oh. Uh... Might be able to kill us now. We got a one. So we have to draw a creature. Um, now a creature doesn't even save us. We thought all they had left was lands, but look at all these. Look at all of these. Uh, ugh. Wow. Now we have a chance because I named Ichthyomorphosis. <laughs> okay. Draw us those two cards. Oh my god. We have a chance. I knew I had an Ichthyomorphosis left, but I still didn't have a great chance of drawing it. I guess one in nine. Hope they don't have counter magic for this vexing gull. Did we win by mill? <laughs> Did we do it? Yes, we did. Our opponent's just messing around now. We got there. Yeah, that was good luck for sure. I mean, I don't think Hydra's Growth is unplayable or anything, Super Nintendo. Um, I think... You should only play it when you have a lot of enchantment payoffs, uh, but I think you can play it. But, but yeah, I mean, there's um, a lot of inherent risk, and there might be some value in making your opponent drop whatever they're doing and deal with a single threat, but if they're able to do that, you're almost always coming out behind because you're getting two for one, uh, and they're not, obviously. They're just getting one, the one part of the two for one. It's a good hand. We've had some pretty good opener opening hands. Yeah, it was nice to do that. 
We know at least with this draft we're going three and three now, and that that help that's a good thing to know. After starting with a couple of one and threes, you know. Yeah, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna take one. But there are definitely times where it's worth running. It's strong enough. It has big enough payoffs. Um, so there's a really good chance they have an enchantment. They can play at instant speed. But I don't think I care that much. I'm going to attack with our Nyad. And then play another Nyad. I almost scooped in that last game when we drew, because I was like, yeah, I mean, there's no way for me to deal with this. But then I realized I got to draw two cards. <laughs> uh, that was silly. All right, so probably going to stop attacking now, on the ground anyway. Although, no, yeah, we are. We'll just play our witness here. Try to win the evasive battle in the air. Okay. Hmm. So we could mill ourselves once. I think it's probably worth it here. There goes our other Devourer, amusingly enough. All right, looks like that's going to happen. And yeah, we'll just leave up mana for Omen of the Sea. It only cost one, so that's nice. Um... Yeah, I've, I've been up against the Illyrio-Stassa combo. It's definitely not very much fun. I've had really weird luck with the gods in this format. Like, I haven't had bad decks around them, but every time I've drafted them, I've ended up, like, not really turning them into creatures very often. Like, I've had uh, Erebos and Nylea and Thassa, but they were not. none of them were as good as they could have been because they were... Like, the secondary color in my deck. And it was like, really? They were gonna- they thought about scrying before their draw there. I can probably just attack with everything next turn. Well, depends what they do with this five mana, I guess. Six mana. It's a lot of mana. Well, now we have something to put Ichthyomorphosis on, I guess. Yeah, we want Atris, um, and it actually gives us a little bit of information. Oh, no, it doesn't. We'll end up drawing both of them. Yeah. How much mana do we have? We have three, four, five, six. So I'm probably not actually going to play Atris this turn, but I think we still want to draw both of them. Yeah, so let's put Ichthyomorphosis here. And then mill ourselves once. And we'll attack with everything. Hmm. 
Lyrios will get to untap. That's fine. All right, we got there. See if we can even out our record a little bit. I mean, uh, last Sunday, the second stream I did last weekend, uh, I went three and three in all three of them. So that was, that means I've done five where I haven't won um, more than I lost. So at least we've done that here. <laughs> this is fine. It's a little slow, but it's not, it's not a huge problem. Luckily, they're also off to a slow start. Okay. Um, I don't really want a second Wave Rider desperately, but I mean, I guess, I guess it'll be fine. It's just going to be a hill giant for a while, but, you know, that's okay. Um, yeah, we could hold off on playing the Naiad, but we're pretty likely to hit other enchantments. Okay, so play our own Wave Rider. Wave Rider again. Oh, I guess I may as well attack first. So we play our own Wave Rider, and then we can actually use our Threnody Singer to kill this, potentially, assuming it's not flying. So it will be flying. <laughs> okay, so... Wow. <laughs> we got a rage quit there because they thought that was an enchantment creature. <laughs> I guess I'll take it. <laughs> uh, win's a win. See you later, Ungaren. This hand. So we have a two drop, but to be able to play everything in our hands, I mean, we need to draw, granted most of our lands are islands, but I just don't feel that comfortable keeping this hand on the play. Yeah, yeah good call. Um. Probably gonna put the Wave Rider on the bottom. I think they mulligan too, I guess. Uh, 
Yeah, I think we still play our Devourer. Probably play the Prophecy next turn, but we'll see. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to attack with our mana up. Um, because we can then kill the creature and not lose ours if they block. Uh, and if they don't block, we get to do two damage. So, yeah. All right. So do I go with my prophecy here? I think I do. Okay. Um, I want to bottom one of these because we really need lands. The next, the Nyad will let us play things a little more easily. So I think that's probably the goal that we bottom. Yep. So, I'm going to name Nyad and then just decide if I want to play Threnody Singer or Deny the Divine. And, yeah. End our turn. Well, that's painful. Um, okay. Let's draw another Nyad. We do have three, I think. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny if we did. So, I think I probably just flash in the singer here. After all, they know I have it now, so. Hey, there's another one. Should have named Threnody Singer. They know I have Deny the Divine, which is frustrating. We're going to take one this time. Mostly because I want to leave up Deny the Divine. Alright, so we know they're playing around it, but I think we still go for it. What's on top of their library? A swamp. We have an island on top of ours, which I don't hate. Kunaros is kind of scary. Not as scary as he could be, but um, definitely scary. All right, we're going to end our turn. So we have Threnody Singer to mess stuff up, depending on, you know, what they do here. All right. out for us overall for sure oh crap what was that I said about it working out <laughs> all right so Calife is gonna attack I'm sure there's gonna be a trade Let's just hope they don't draw an enchantment in the meantime. I'm sure they just drew one, though. I 
I mean, chances are good. They're gonna blow my creature up now, yeah. Well played, well played opponent. Yeah. Yeah, I need that ichthyomorphosis for sure. We still have two of them in our deck. After all. Uh, you cost... Yeah, we'll hold on to this to bluff. We actually have pretty good shields up, given the situation, but... Shoal Kraken. Do I want a Shoal Kraken? Or do I just bottom it? Yeah, I think we have to find an ichthyomorphosis. Or, yeah, so we're bottoming him. Well, that'll be useful at some point. We're not there yet, but I'll take it. Nope. So we'll be at seven mana. Almost can scry twice. Nothing else. Good news is if they do draw removal, we can dodge it. Okay, so... Whatever they target, I'll put the mantle on. Which, they're going to target a Threnody Singer. Please don't kill my Witness of Tomorrows. The bad news is, even if I get Ichthyomorphosis, <laughs> these three freaking Pegasi are a problem. Granted, we do have a bunch of Flyers in play at least, but still. Sorry, Nyad. Yeah, we need either flyers or ichthyomorphosis. Hey! Now we have a chance. Now we have a chance. They're not going to get anything out of this this game, which is good. We don't have any graveyard shenanigans, uh, so yeah. All right, now we can scry twice. It is pretty rare to have a deck in this format that has nothing graveyardy going on. I 
I'm sure they have a way to remove ichthyomorphosis at some point. So, yeah. That won't be good. We don't have to be as desperate for flyers and stuff now. Do we want this hippocamp? It's better than an island. It'll start drawing us extra cards. We probably do. I don't think it's worth attacking with our witness. It might be someday, but... That day isn't now. Okay. That's not good. They probably have a uh, call to glory, which probably is game. Well, they don't have it right away. Maybe they're just trying to hit me for four here. It's not a bad plan. I would probably take it. Yeah. He won't be a 4-4 every turn, so. And he doesn't have lifelink either. So hold on to this to bluff. Okay. Well, that's not great news. Better find another ichthyomorphosis. So I'm just going to take another four here. That'll be useful. So... We can make some educated guesses about what cards could be. Do we still have two Ichthyomorphoses in our deck? Oop. So... I'm going to pick the face down card. The Wave Rider is not going to do anything for us. Okay, well... Okay, so Omen will draw us extra cards, so that's good. Um, I 
Do they still have fewer cards than us? They do, but only by one now. Thanks to Atris. Oh, are they... I wonder if they have lethal. They might have pretty close to lethal. Especially with Wings of Hubris. So let's cast this omen, see what happens. I wish a devourer was better right now. I think we're just gonna bottom both of those. There's the other ichthyomorphosis. So that's good news terms of not dying. So I could try to triple block. Oh, no, we're dead. Yeah, if they just put the wings... Yeah, it's too late. Too bad I don't have a bounce spell right now. Yeah, the only way we don't die. I'm going to do this just to see what might have happened if I had gone a little differently there. Oh, he's going to do it in response. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. If he did it in response, I wouldn't have gotten to see. He decided to let me, so. Okay. Okay, I think we can get away keeping this. Um, bunch of two drops. Um, let's play the prophecy, try to hit some lands. I'm sorry, Witness of Tomorrow, but I think you're going to have to go on the bottom. Alright, so... Choose a card name. I think we're going to go with Threnody Singer. And end our turn. Thank you for the follow. Tech Chrono Trigger. Uh-oh. Look out. Uh, what is our bomb? Do we have a bomb? I'm not sure we have a bomb. We have Atris. Not really a bomb, but a good card. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We do have another Threnody Singer to cast on our turn with Meadowmise Prophecy, but... Yeah, so... Makes it do zero, so I'm not going to bother blocking it. Right, so we're going to have to play a Threnody Singer <laughs> at sorcery speed, basically. We don't have to do it at sorcery speed, but our opponent knows we have it, so... Hey, that's a good draw right there. 
So next we probably play Wave Rider two turns in a row and then a Sea Guard or Ichthyomorphosis and then Sea Guard. Seems pretty reasonable. So I think trading a trick from one of my Threnody Singers doesn't bother me. And if they're just, yeah, it was just a bluff anyway. So you've got a plains on top. I've got an island on top. It's exciting stuff. All right, so attack with both of those. There's a chance they have counter magic here, but I think that's okay. Yeah, I love Threnody Singer. This is definitely the draft I've done in the format where I got to play them the most. And they were, you know, this deck's almost mono blue. So they've been extra good. All right, they get a couple 1-1s. One Not too, too concerned about that fact. Okay, so... Then we play a Wave Rider. Next turn, we probably mill one card and play our Sea Guard, assuming we play a land. Okay, well, you can hit me pretty hard here. Two, three, five? Yeah, we're just going to take five. Or four. It's really sad that we never got to set up our Sea Guard the way we wanted to. <laughs> I mean, uh, our Wave Rider. In, yeah. Look out. It's got flying. Um, well, that Hippocamp might have been nice. This is a race we should win. They could have the mass pump spell, I guess. But we also have Ichthyomorphosis to disrupt the race. Hopefully. Yeah, it's basically a way better Fairy Duelist, although I feel like overall Fairy Duelists in whichever Ravnica set that was tended to line up better more frequently. Well, I'm glad they don't get anything out of their graveyard, at least. Okay, so... I mean, I think we're just going to do this. Should I just do it twice? Playing the Ichthyomorphosis would be nice, but it's not going to make a big difference yet. I think I should hold on to it for something that is really problematic. I could have a bounce spell here. All right, Let's see if we can do lethal this next turn. Yeah, I'll hold on to this island. I guess if I draw a swamp, I might regret that, but. Look 
Looks like we're gonna get there. We got one game left. One way or another, whether we win or lose. Thank you, Blink Logo. Since you've started saying it, we've done pretty well. All right, this is a keeper, thanks to Scry, basically. Um, yep. Yeah. Hello, Pika Miner. Also, being on the draw made this more of a keep. Okay. Give me two lands on top. Thank you for the resub, C speeds. Okay, it's not two lands, but um, I think I'll take it. Draw a land, play Nyad number one, and then play the other one the next turn. Yeah. Opponents in the blue-red deck that we kind of started in. Nyad of Hidden Coves. Our opponent's going to think we made a mistake here. <laughs> maybe. Maybe they figure I don't. Hello, Mictoru. I think we just take three here. Well, now it's four, but yeah, we still take it. Nice. So we definitely play the island because we'll be able to play Starlet Mantle. Just take another four to the face here. They're off to a kind of scary start. At least they're about to draw land, I guess. Um, I think we play our Sea Guard here. Not like that, though. That way I can leave up uh, Starlet Mantle. All right. That's good. I can do the same thing here. God, the auto tapper is crazy. See if they have a counter spell to make their trickster bigger. They probably do. Just a vexing gull. I can live with that. Try to play removal. Try to play removal. Thank you. We've got double ichthyomorphosis now. Um, not sure that I'm desperate to play ichthyomorphosis, though. I don't think I want to right just yet. I think being able to get flying out of that is worth it. OK. 
Okay, well now we drew Atris. Probably play Atris first. Do they counter Atris? They do. It's not nice. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put this on the Trickster before it gets too much bigger. Probably would have been better to play the Ichthyomorphosis first, I guess. So this is going to be a 2-3, so, you know, it'll be more relevant than is ideal, certainly. Okay. Why didn't Thassa's Invocation put a token on it? Oh, it wasn't the first spell. That's why. Okay, so Linder turn... So I think I take this five. We try to ichthyomorphosis the thing again. Okay, Calife. Yeah, some people weren't happy about the raid sponsorship. It was a one-time thing, so <laughs> people won't have to see it again. Um. Attack with our Wave Rider here. I don't think I'm just going to end my turn. Yeah, I don't think it bothered most people. It's just the people that it did bother made comments, so... <laughs> Well, that's gross. Really gross. I wonder why they had to think so long about that. Because <laughs> they can just triple block my wave rider, or double block it, excuse me, and uh, kill it. Yeah. Oh, all right, so I think I have to put the ichthyomorphosis on this trickster. Four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana. Means I can scry once on my upkeep and still play most of the spells in our deck. I think I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'll take it. And in my turn. Oh, I kind of meant to do it there, too, but it's okay that I didn't. Um, yep, so we're just... Well, given the amount of mana we have... Yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and cast Omen of the Sea here. Because we may draw something we can do this turn. Or, you know, a Threnody Singer. Um, I'm going to put another Omen on top first. And then we'll end our turn. Um, I think we can let that resolve. Um... No, I don't really want to attack with the witness right now. Opens me up to their flyers. Um. I guess drawing both of these works for me. We'll just draw the singer now. Now that we have the singer, I guess we could consider it. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, 
Um, so my Threnody Singer can basically blank a swing from their flyers. So I think I'll go ahead and attack. Yeah. And play our Wave Rider. Not like that, though. Auto Tapper, man. Actually. There we go. Wish I could give Calife flying right about now. Interesting. Okay. Um, which of these do I want to kill more? I guess the trickster. Um, killing the trickster is a little trickier, though, so I'm probably just going to do this. Okay, so I'll play this Nyad. We attack with both now. Yeah, the one mana counter is pretty cool. I shouldn't have let the, the thing auto-tap, though. That's for sure. All right, so... We'll take a goal pretty happily. Yeah, luckily, we didn't get hurt too bad by the auto-tap in the end. Okay. Our goal and our deny the divine should do pretty well. <laughs> oh man. So we don't really want to let that come back for a variety of reasons, so. All right, we got there. All right, so we went two and six, and then nine and, and then seven and two. So we managed to finish nine and eight today after the, the bad start. Our overall record was one win better in terms of win percentage than it had been last time we, I streamed, so <laughs> I'll take it. Um, so, I'll be back uh, tomorrow, same time. It'll be the last stream of this format. Because it's almost a Coria review time, uh, which is crazy, but it's almost here. See you all tomorrow, hopefully, and have a good rest of your day, everybody.